Today I'm going to be walking through how I set up my Android devices for mining various coin for my phone farm. And we're actually booting up the device now. So this is going to be a kind of a walkthrough of a fresh brand new device that you would pull out of the package. And some of the steps are optional. However, this is the process that I walk through whenever I set up a device. And this is a TrackPhone AO3S. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to hit start. And then it's going to start prompting us for some information. We're going to go through this initial setup. So on the review, you need to accept the terms. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then it's going to ask us to pick a Wi-Fi network. I'm going to hit skip here. <clears throat> and the reason is I don't want it trying to download any add-on apps or anything like that. So we're going to say skip. The goal here is to try to get a bare bones device that just mines. And then it's going to ask us to select our time zone. We're going to go ahead and change that. I'm in central. And say next. And here it's going to ask us for all these services. I turn all of these off. So we turn location services off. We also turn off the usage and diag. And if you notice, there's no apps here because we have Wi-Fi turned off. So go ahead and hit accept. And now it's going to ask us to set a lock screen. We're going to say skip. We don't want a lock screen on this. So we're going to say skip anyway. And then it's got a couple bundled apps. We're going to uncheck both of those. Then say next. And then we're going to say skip on this, uh, find your phone device, and we're going to say skip. And then it's going to ask us for the Samsung services. We're going to uncheck those as well, and then hit I agree. And then we've got the track phone menu, and this is to provide information to track phone. We want to turn off the device pulse. Hit accept and continue. And then we have the option of doing light or dark. I like dark mode. So we're going to go ahead and do dark mode. Hit next. And there you can see we're all set up. We're going to go ahead and hit finish. And give it a minute and it will boot into the operating system. And at this point, what I do like to do is I like to head over to settings. And on the AO3S, I go to About Phone. I go to Software Information. And I go to the Build Number. And I tap on this until Developer Mode is enabled. Go back. Now I go to Developer Options. And there's this option called Stay Awake. And essentially what this does is whenever the power cord's plugged in, charging cable, it will keep the screen active. We go ahead and do that. And then we can head back, back. Now what we want to do is we're going to hop on over to the computer. I'm going to plug in a USB-C cable to the computer. We're going to copy a couple files to this. The reason we're doing it this way is I don't want my Google account and everything on this device. We don't need Google services all set up or anything like that. So we're going to just use a USB cable we're going to copy over some files. We're back over at the computer and we've plugged it in. And on the device, we need to say allow for it to actually allow access to the files. And if we give this a refresh here, we can double click on AO3S, access this folder, and we're going to put our files inside download. Just makes it easier that way. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up the files that I need. 
And essentially what we're going to be working with here is Varus Miner. I'm also going to be running a screen rotator tool that is very useful for me because the charging port on my phones is at the bottom of the device. And the AO3S devices I have do not auto rotate 180 degrees. They only auto rotate 90 degrees. So I run an app that allows me to auto rotate that because I, the way I have them on my stand, I need the charging port to be at the top. And so all the fans are upside down essentially. So what we're gonna be working with here is, uh, the first thing is screen rotation. Um, and these are all apps that you can get from the Android store if you're using Android. If not, uh, you can really just Google these. The next one we're gonna need is Varus Miner. Now for Varus Miner, what you can do is you can hop on over to the GitHub for um, Pangs, uh, Pangs Lab Varus Miner release. And if you go to releases, he can just download the zip file and grab the APK out of that. I already have that version downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and copy it over. It's just called app. So it's fine. And then the other thing I like to do is create a text file with my wallet address. The reason I do this is it's easier to just copy and paste it from a file instead of trying to scan the QR code on another device, things like that. So essentially, these are the three files we need. In addition, if you want it to auto run on boot up, there are instructions on how to do that um, on the GitHub. So if you hop on over to virus minor release and you go to the help markdown file, here you will see links to the macro droid app and also a script. And essentially what this will do is when the phone boots up, it will open the app and start mining. I personally don't do this because you usually are only turning the device on once. Uh, if you turn off OTA updates, you don't have to worry about devices rebooting or anything like that. I've never had a problem with my devices rebooting, so I don't run this specific module. And now that we got the three files, we can unplug the USB cable and hop back over to our phone. All right, we're back over at the device and to access the downloads, all we need to do is go to my files and say allow. And if you don't see this, sometimes it's in a Samsung folder. Uh, for In my case, it's not but sometimes there is a, depending on the installer you have, sometimes there's a Samsung and then you have to go into my files. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go downloads and you're gonna see the three files that we downloaded. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install screen rotation. This is gonna give me this pop-up saying that we're trying to install from a untrusted source, hit settings. And then on my files, toggle that and then hit install and then we can say open if we want on that and I'm just gonna leave notifications on that's fine Hit continue hit OK and I want to do a reverse portrait and now my screen is flipped 180 degrees so now my charging port is at the top which is where I need it to be now we can close that app and click on the app.apk. This is the actual Varus Miner. We're going to go ahead and say install. And before we open that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my text file. And we can open it with pretty much anything. We'll just do the HTML viewer. And then we're just going to copy the text. And that is our wallet address. Now, before I open the miner, I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi. So let me go ahead and do that. We're now connected to Wi-Fi. And so if we get our apps, mm, you'll probably want to give this a couple minutes. It might be trying to download updates, doing various things in the background. 
and say you'll want to pull down your settings here and sometimes you'll need to walk through uh, a couple setup screens essentially you just want to leave things turned off if it asks you to turn them on but we're going to go ahead and open Varus Miner while that's running. And then we're going to hit Add Setting. This is going to kind of pre-fill things in for us. And the first thing I like to do is clear out the wallet address. And then we're going to paste in our wallet address that we copied for the setting name. I just set this thing to primary. It doesn't really matter what you name it. And then my minor name, I name all of my phones uh, phone farm. So we're just gonna do that. And it basically causes my workers to get aggregated together on the pool when I do that. We got phone farm and then our CPU. This is the number of threads we want to mine on. And I do eight on this specific phone. Again, I'm not doing anything else with this device. And these are LiPo batteries. So there's no concern on battery bulging and heat, things like that. Now for the pool, I like to use uh, Cloud Kiko. So I'm gonna do custom and under the host, we're gonna do cloud Kiko. So it's cloud IKO.io. And the port is gonna be all nines. And if this happens, then uh, you can just rotate the phone. Sometimes that happens while it's applying updates. So we do all nines. And uh, I'm not gonna turn monitoring on, but if you wanna do monitoring and monitor with another Android device, you can do that. Go ahead and hit, hit save. And now if we hop on over to the mining tab, we should see a balance, which we do see a wallet balance there. So now I'm before I start the miner, I'm gonna go ahead and hit home. Let's go ahead and fire up screen rotator again. Do we reverse portrait? Let it flip that screen back around for us. And now let's swipe down from the top. And here we've got a couple things. So first thing I'm gonna do is click on the Google Play Protect. And I'm basically just gonna close out of it. We're just doing that to dismiss it. And then on the track phone one, we're going to uncheck stats on tracking on Chrome, hit accept. Turn on sync, we're gonna say no thanks. And then it's gonna ask us if we want a lot of notifications from the track phone app. I'm gonna say don't allow on this one. And then we'll say accept. And it's going to ask us for permissions. I'm going to say skip, skip on location. And that's it. We can go ahead and close out of that now. We're not going to need that. And the last thing is complete setting setup by installing apps. Go ahead and tap that. And we don't want any of those apps. So we're just going to uncheck them all and hit OK. Now, if you swipe down, there's no pending actions there. So the last thing I like to do is if you swipe up, go to track phone. If you remember, we unchecked these during install, but it's still, the apps are still kind of there. And so I like to come in and disable those. We're gonna do the same thing with device pulse. And just disable those. And you can see it's still running the completing setup in the background. You can kind of let that run, that's fine. Uh, but now we can just launch Varus Miner. We can hit start. We can hit OK. And it's going to ask us if we want to stop optim battery optimizations. Go ahead and say allow. And then 
uh, it should ramp up the hash rate here. Now these phones can take uh, quite a bit to ramp up the hash rate, but essentially we should land uh, just under four mega hash under this configuration. So when I run a configuration that has something like uh, the Google account on it with the Play Store and all of that, we kind of top out around 3.2 mega hash per second, uh, 3.25, 3.3 in that range. Uh, however, with this configuration, with the minimal uh, installation, we can average uh, around 3.75 to four uh, based on temperatures, things like that. If you put a fan behind it, then you can definitely get above four mega hash on these devices. Just superb for a $50 device. And the way I did my previous videos, I talked about getting it to about 3.2, uh, you know, between 2.8 and 3.2, but I've been able to optimize them a little bit further uh, through some of these settings. And uh, with some cooling, you can definitely get these suckers up. Uh, and then the one last thing that I didn't talk about in the settings is if we go ahead and hit home, and it'll continue to hash in the background. Uh, but if we go to settings, and then we go to display, and I turn off adaptive brightness, and I will also turn down the brightness uh, when I go to put it on my mining shelf. For now, for the purpose of this video, I'm keeping it um, up a little bit just so that it's easier to see on the camera. But eventually what we'll do is we would take it all the way down. It's gonna be a little bit hard to see if I leave it that low. And then we can hop back on over to the app. And as you can see, it only found one share so far. It needs to find a few more shares before this hash rate will ramp up. So let's just go ahead and give it a few minutes, let it ramp up, and let's see what the hash rate kind of settles in at. It's been a couple minutes, it's still ramping up, but there you can see we're at 3.4 mega hash so far. Uh, this, like I said, this will take a bit to ramp up but we do have 13 accepted shares and everything is hashing away. Right now it's discharging the battery. We'll probably actually do a little better with it plugged in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this mounted up. That's it for this video. Just kind of wanted to show you guys how I set up my Samsung Android phones for mining on Veriscoin.